Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This video has been prompted by subscribers because if you buy the ReadyMaster TX12 without an SD card in it, you won't have sounds and you won't have the model wizards. Now, when I looked through my OpenTX collection of videos, I found that I hadn't done a video where you set up from the beginning because obviously most of the radios come with the SD card and the contents are on it. So I've done videos where I've shown you how to update it. So I'm gonna do a quick video so that I can point people to this video to show you what to do if you never had an SD card with your radio when you first purchased it. So let's switch over to my computer and we're going to go and find out where we get the SD card contents from. So if we look here we are in the opentx.org website. Now what you're going to need to do is you will need to check your radio to find out which version of OpenTX you have on your radio because you need to match up the contents to that version. Now let's just pause there. I want to show you because this will be aimed at beginners. I want to show you where to find out uh, the version that you've got. So we need to go into the system button. Well, let's just exit that first. The system button. And then we're going to page across until we come to the version. It's the last page. And you can see on this TX12, the OpenTX version is 2.3.14. So that's how you find it. So if we go back to the computer, you can see the latest one is 2.3.14. So you will click there. And if we go scroll down, you go to download links, you can see the SD card content. So we need to click on there. And here we go. Now, if you take a look, we can see all the different radios that are supported. So we need the TX12. We're gonna, I'm gonna do it because the TX12 doesn't come with an SD card. So we're gonna click there. And you can see the different versions. Now, this is where you would have to select the right one for the firmware, but let's assume you've got the most up-to-date firmware on your TX12, which is advisable anyway. So we're gonna click the latest one, which is 0038. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit here for 12 minutes watching this download, so I will speed this up. While we're waiting for the download, let's go and have a look at the SD card. So I've already put the SD card into my computer. So there it is there, you can see it there. There's nothing on there. Now what we should do is really format that card. So we're just gonna right click on the drive and say format. And we'll just do a quick format. Okay, so our SD card is ready to accept those contents now. So we can close this. Let's go back to our download. Okay, still three minutes to go. And there we go, let's go to the folder. So that's my download. And there you can see it there. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna double click. And then we're gonna extract all. We can just do it, do it to that directory. Now you can put the SD card in your radio, but it can be very slow uh, transferring the data across. So it's, it's better really to take out the SD card to do this. I prefer to unzip the files first before I copy them across to the SD card. And then I keep those SD card contents on my computer for, in case I need them later. Now all we need to do is copy those contents to our SD card. So it's automatically opened the file, let's say select all. Go to our SD card and then just drop them in there. I'm not gonna show you the whole process of transferring these files. All you need to do once it's completed, take the SD card out, put it into your radio, and now you will have the model wizards and also sounds. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And maybe you can consider becoming a Patreon of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.